Hello, I saw on a huge ass bus that is the last season of the Sons of Anarchy next week. I had to have a heart to heart with you about it. There will be spoilers from the beginning of the series up until season 6 that we're at, but there are no spoilers in this video about season 7 because I haven't read anything because I don't like to be spoiled, so please don't spoil me because I'm not spoiling you, I'm letting you know. If you have never seen The Sons of Anarchy, I told you they'd be spoilers, so I don't know why you'd be watching this video. From the outside, The Sons of Anarchy looks like a very macho show, like it's gonna be all about men getting on their motorcycles with their guns. That's exactly what it is. I do love that this is another show that focuses so much on the people that refuse to live within the norms that society has given us, and unfortunately they happen to again be criminals. I don't know. It's just so interesting that a lot of our TV shows right now are about criminals. The first few seasons were awesome, as usual, with shows. I miss how funny this show used to be at the beginning. When I first discovered this show, it was so funny, especially Tig had so many funny storylines, so many weird things happening to him. And it's kind of so dark and he mostly just put their focus on the romantic relationships and I don't know, it's, it's not really the show that I go to for that. I started watching this show on Netflix, like I binge watched and then I started watching it on TV and that's, it's one of my favorite shows that I literally wait every week for. And I have to admit, I do love like waiting a week or a period of however long to wait for the next episode because it just builds so much anticipation and when you binge watch, everything is so fast and then you watch a season in like a weekend and then you're like, you don't have any shows to watch. Oh, and I hate shows like these that make me feel so conflicted because in a way they're not portraying women in a forward-thinking way. Yeah, there's no badass women for us to look up to in the show, only badass men. And I say that because the way that the characters are presented in their professions, it's like, you know, they do porn, they do stripping because that's the only thing they know how to do or they're able to do and they're always talking about getting to them out of that and having a better life. And that's not my belief, I'm saying that's what happens in the show. And that's why, to me, they're not bad as women. We're seeing them from a perspective of a, of a victim almost. And even somebody like Tara, she should have freaking left with her sons or when there were no children. <laughs> she should have left and she should have never came back to Charming in the first place. We know that from the beginning of the first season. And she just had it coming and it was so sad when she died because she didn't deserve to die. Gemma had no idea what the hell was going on as usual. And I like that it was Gemma that killed her because we were just waiting for that for so long. She finally went ahead and did it. And you know, that's one of the main reasons why I like this show. It's very much like the grassy, it goes there. The reason I keep watching it is because it lives in a good place in my heart. Like I feel like it doesn't come from an evil intention, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't know, I just wanted to let you know that I'm gonna be watching the Sons of Anarchy and I'm gonna be probably making videos about it because I'm gonna be watching it, probably. And also, American Horror Story is coming back this fall as well in October. I'm gonna be loving it. I don't know, just let me know if you like these shows so that I know that you're like looking forward to them rather than like, ugh. I don't like American Horror Story, which if you don't like American Horror Story, I don't know what's wrong with you. Goodbye and thanks for watching if you still are. <laughs> I didn't make a video last weekend because it was Labor Day and I was really enjoying and not doing shit for three days straight.